chineke ji kere wo nu ndi kwere na jesus christ ji kere wo e mbi fufege fe o sisi oronku gada mbo mu waga bia nyi ga mara ndi kwere no o ji kere wo nu ikwere kwe na chineke ji kere wo nu ikwere kwe na jesus ji kere wo e Bifu fege fe o si si poron kugada Momo wagabia nyi gamara ndi kwere no O ji kere wono Hello my people, my subscribers and my viewers My new subscribers, my sweet Biafran people My African people and the so called Nigerian people If you wish to be one I say good evening, good morning, good afternoon, wherever you are watching me from. This is M Special, where I deliberate and you have the final say through your comments. Please, if you have not subscribed to my channel, do me a favor to subscribe because your subscription shows me that people are watching and what I am doing is relevant to the happenings of the day. Together, we will build a wonderful society. Never forget the Bible predicted all. So our anchor is in Christ Jesus. We will do what we can do and his word will come to pass. But which side of the boat are you? Are you with Jesus or are you against him? This is the question for every Christian in particular. Anybody that calls himself a Christian that reads the Bible, this question is for you. Are you a Christian for celebration and for social lives or going to church to make friends because especially some of us in Europe and worse to those in Nigeria or you just want to belong or are you a Christian because you know there is life after this rubbish we are living here? Which side of the boat are you? Did you understand the death and the resurrection of Christ? Did you get the real meaning of Christ living heaven as a king, as the son of the most high to come here to die for us? Did you get that? Did, is that done on you honestly, interpreted by the Holy Spirit? Did you get that message? If you do, your pastor will not be your God. So this evening, M. Special has come with, I call this one part one of Pastor Adeboye and Antichrist. For me, Pastor Adeboye of today is an Antichrist. Many may not like it because he has many followers, but what I want to say is my own view. Your own view and your own um, comments and your own opinion is for you. At last, Jesus will have the final say. Everlasting journey, it is only Jesus that has the final say in the everlasting journey. So we must not be de deceiving ourselves. Why am I saying this? I call this part one because I want to do part two. I am a Catholic. And when I came to Europe, I saw that Catholic in Europe is not like in Nigeria. Not only that, one thing I thank God for, me being in Europe, is that it's really helped me in my spiritual journey. Very busy, but I got a lot from informations, right pastors. In Europe here, I don't listen to African pastors. I'm sorry to say it. Especially pastors from Nigeria. I don't, I don't, their message does not resonate with me. I'm sorry to say it. They may have good ones. But all those mega ones, they have missed, their message is chaff. If you are in spirit and you watch their message, you will tell yourself the truth. But if you want to be among those that will be deceived, you continue to belong to the crowd. So when I came here, I went to first African church. I watched what they are doing there. Not bad. It wasn't 
um, spiritually high as I expected it to be. So one thing lead to the other, I stopped and I told myself I would never go to African church in Europe again. Because then, when I was going there, what I used to do is I go to Catholic in the morning and I would drive straight to Pentecostal because I want to build my child on a platform of God. I don't just want to be teaching her Bible in this house. I want her to hear from elsewhere. But unfortunately, when we go there, when we come back, the persons she asks me may just let me know that I am not doing the right thing for her because she later told me that what she is getting from me is far higher than where I'm taking her. And where I am taking her to, that they don't behave the way I do. The majority, majority of the people there, she don't understand their stand. And that got me thinking. So when I left there, a brother of mine that was heading Redeem Church, approached me and told him I don't want to belong to African church anymore. He persuaded me he is a born-again Christian. And he was then the one pastoring the redeemed church where I was li living. So I said, okay, let me give it a try. I love what he, is, he was preaching and he is still saying because he is a believer. His eyes is on Jesus. But during that time, when Pastor Adeboye had the crisis of retire and don't retire and all that, he came to Spain, where I am, and he, was not, he didn't come to our state. He went a little far, so people had to go and from here to go and see their Jesus. And those that wanted to be ordained had, was told to pay 100 euro if you want to be ordained as a pastor. <laughs> when I heard that, I thought twice. I didn't go because I don't have need to go and see him. He's not my Jesus. But that 100 euro to see him, you know, people that want to see him will pay 100 euro. Then those that want to be ordained, I don't know how much. I keep thinking about it. He came, he left. The next news is that every tithe must be written in a register all around the world. That was when the pressure was high for him to leave. And he gave that announcement. And I said, what? That means that people that we are heading the churches cannot um, enjoy what they worked for. Because as far as I'm concerned, the Bible says the tithe belongs to the pastor. Including the tithe, wherever it is, it belongs to the resident pastor. Because that is the, what they, they used to look after themselves, pay the bills of the church and for themselves. But this man said everything must be registered. After that, going on, he made the proclamation he did when we started the IPOB hits, and he forgot that the people that we, are, that we are giving him money to exist, I must say, is my Biafran people, because we are the one that built, his people don't go to church. We are the one that taught the Nigerians about the true God the Igbos, and he was angered, and that angry, he made the mention that he's going to pay, to pray for us to all die, because we wanted Biafra, and that baffled me. I stopped going to his church, and I said, this is crazy. If a so-called man of God can make such a statement, strong statement with anger, that he's going to pray, for people to die. That man has some cockroaches in his cupboard. I dropped, and the killing of the Christians continued in Nigeria. This man never, for one day, condemned the killing of the Christians. Even when his own son, as in the name of the vice president, he sent him there. Because the vice president, one time, when things were, they started, he was being interviewed, he said he didn't want to take the vice president's seat. But he approached his spiritual pastor, uh, father and he told him to take. So even when the person he sent to Asurok was the vice president and Christians are being slaughtered, killed, children, pregnant women, this man 
never for one day speak against it. And I ask myself, how can somebody associate this man to be a man of God? He may be man of God when he started, when he repented from his Islam to Christianity. But for now, I think he has missed the way. And if we do listen, our leader, Dr. Mazin Namdekano, always made mention that they were all former Muslims. Don't misquote me. The kingdom is for everybody. After all, Jesus said he didn't come for the righteous. And none of us is righteous. So don't misquote me. But on that background, it's difficult for you to finally say, we are all human. The final say is for God. We must not forget. With what I'm seeing, on my own opinion, from the CEO, Pastor, uh, Pastor Deboye, that he is still there for God. And that is my opinion. Yeah. Going on, we, have, we can see many things, many instances. When he started selling materials, he started uh, with his uh, stick. This very pastor, I am telling you, that made me to go to redeem, started speaking out against that. Do you know, Pastor Adeboye's members from far and near were against this man? What did they do? Because he spoke out that the Bible did not say this. How can he be selling materials? How can he be focusing people? They removed him from being a pastor of Redeemed Church. Yes, it happened in Spain, in my presence. They removed him. They said he is going against their G.O. That is their God. So when you are in Redeemed Church, you are not there to make a change. You are there to have your Jesus as your G.O. But I want to tell you something. When you will die, just as he will die and I will die one day, you are not going to see him. You are going to meet the person that died on the cross for us. And don't be deceived. Many people today are in hellfire because they confide and believe in everything their pastor said. They, they normally they wouldn't have had any reason to go to hellfire. But they went to hellfire because they closed their mind. They refused to be corrected. And they saw that man as the only man, even before Jesus, they, is the person that they will call to. So this is the part one of this. What do you have to say? Is that right? That somebody that reads the Bible knows what Jesus preaches will come up to deceive himself and to deceive others. Will you call it out of ignorance? I don't think so. But it is left for you, for I, for the members, for the children of God, to know on whose umbrella and shepherd and flocks that they are under. Because Matthew 24 told us, about the end time. And if you allow yourself to be fooled, it's not an excuse before God. Thank you and God bless you.